Question number 7. The curve C has equation y equals 1 upon 2 minus x. Part A. Sketch the graph of C. On your sketch, you should show the coordinates of any point of intersection with the coordinate axis and state clearly the equations of any asymptotes. The question carries three marks. You are given this equation y equals 1 upon 2 minus x. It's a reciprocal graph. So we learned how to sketch a reciprocal graph in chapter 4, if I'm not wrong, the graphs and transformation. But this question is a little bit tricky question because if you take a look at it, you have y equals 1 upon minus x plus 2. You have minus x plus 2. Then you flip them. But just because you see minus x plus 2 in graphs and transformation we learned. If we replace f of x by f of x plus 2, the graph will be shifted left side 2 units. But don't think that this is uh, the, the translation of 2 units to the left side because you are not adding 2 to the graph. Here you need to replace x by x plus 2. So for example you have the actual graph 1 upon minus x and if you replace x by x plus 2 it will become 1 upon minus of x plus 2 or in other words 1 upon minus x minus 2 that is the actual translation of the graph to the left side 2 units here just because we see plus 2 don't jump into conclusion that this is a translation to the left side so what we do we need to take minus out so you can write it as x minus 2 because you multiply minus x plus 2 you get this. So you are actually replacing x by x minus 2 here. So the, the graph has to be translated to the right side 2 units not to the left side. So what do we do? We start with the basic reciprocal graph that's 1 upon x in the first quadrant on the third quadrant that's our one upon x label the axis origin this is one upon x then we got one upon x now we are going to sketch one upon minus x because we need minus of this is same as one upon minus of x minus two so we need one upon minus x first then we can replace x by x minus 2. So when in a function, we learned in graphs and transformation, if you are given a function f of x, and if you replace x by minus x, f of minus x, the graph will be a reflection over y-axis. So you need to flip the graph over y-axis, so your minus 1 upon x will be here. So this is the new graph. Minus 1 upon minus x. Even you consider this as minus 1 upon x. You need to flip the graph. If, if you are given the actual function f of x. And if you need to sketch minus f of x you flip the graph over x-axis. So even you consider this 1 upon minus x as minus 1 upon x and flip the actual graph over x-axis, you will get the same thing because there is just only 1x in the denominator. So now we have 1 upon minus x here. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace x by x minus 2. So when you replace x by x minus 2, the graph will be translated to right side 2 units. So your horizontal axis, uh, horizontal asymptote is same as x axis. Your vertical asymptote will be moved 2 units here. So 1, 2. So this will be the new asymptote. Which is x is equal to 2. Because this point x is equal to 2. So the line of this equation is x is equal to 2. So if we move the graph 2 units to the right side, the new graph will be this.
So this is your new graph minus 1 upon minus of x minus 2 or in other words 1 upon 2 minus x. That's why you need to be very careful when your x coordinate is positive if the x coordinate is positive let's say you are given 1 upon 2 plus x that's same as 1 upon x plus 2. That's so obvious that the graph 1 upon x can be shifted to left side 2 units because you have x plus 2. But the coordinate of the coefficient of x is not positive, it's negative. So take minus out so you can figure out how to sketch the graph. Now they want you to show the equation of all asymptotes. You have two asymptotes, one is the horizontal one, the equation of y axis and the vertical one x is equal to 2 and they want you to find the point where the curve crosses coordinate axis. How do you find the y intercept? You have this equation when the curve crosses the y axis the x coordinate will be 0. Replace x y 0 here when x is 0 your y is 1 upon 2 so this will be 1 upon 2. So the point is 0 comma 1 upon 2. That's it. This question has three marks. Now part B, the line L has equation y equals 4x plus k where k is a constant. The line L meets C at two distinct points. Show that k square plus 16k plus 48 greater than 0. That's our part B. This question has four marks. And part C, find the range of possible values of k. The part C has another four marks. Okay, in part B, you are given another line. This, two, this line intersects the curve at two points. They want you to show that k square plus 16k plus 48 is greater than zero. So when, when uh, a graph on the straight line intersect, what do we do? We equate them. We form a quadratic equation in X. So when you equate them, 4x plus k equals 1 upon 2 minus x. Bring the 2 minus x here. 4x plus k into 2 minus x equals 1. Simplify this. Bring the 1 here. It will become, take 4x and multiply both. 8x minus 4x square. Take k and multiply both. Plus 2k minus xk. Bring the 1 here. Minus 1 equals 0. Try to simplify and write it in the general form of the quadratic equation. So you will have minus 4x square. You have x term, two x terms here. So take x outside, you will have 8 minus k into x. Then you will have 2k, 2k minus 1 equals 0. So you have ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. That's what you do when they talk, whenever you are given a straight line and the question says the straight line intersects the curve at two point or touches at only one point and uh, you equate them, form a quadratic equation in x. So that's the first thing. You don't need to solve this. Okay, form the quadratic equation in x first. Now, they say the line crosses the curve at two points. If the line crosses the curve at two points, the discriminant is supposed to be greater than zero. This discriminant of this quadratic, if it touches at only one point, it is equal to zero. If it doesn't touch at all, it's less than zero. So we are going to use the first one because the line touches the curve, crosses the curve at two points. So your b square, b is 8 minus k, b square minus 4, 4 AC, A is the coefficient of x square, C is this whole term, 2K minus 1, is greater than 0, that's the condition. So you simplify this, you will get this inequality. So when we simplify A minus B whole square is 8 square minus 2AB is 16K plus K square minus 4 times Sorry, not minus 4. When you multiply it, it will become plus 16. Plus 16 times 2k minus 1. 
so plus 32k plus 16 times minus 1 is minus 16 greater than 0 and you simplify this you will have k square and 32k minus 16k is plus 16k and 64 minus 16 is 48 greater than 0 same as this k square plus 16k plus 48 greater than 0 the good thing you have the inequality already you can always verify it's correct or not so that's our part b in part c we need to solve this quadratic inequality okay you are given a quadratic inequality how do we solve a quadratic inequality first consider this as a normal quadratic equation and solve it so take it as an equation 16k plus 48 equals 0 so when you apply the factorization you will have k plus 12 into k plus 4 equals 0 so your k will be minus 12 or k is minus 4 just to find the two points Take this inequality as an equation and solve it. That's our first step. And step number two, I always advise my student to sketch a little rough graph. Look at the coefficient of x square. Here it's k square. This is k, not x. The coefficient of x square, the k square is positive. So the graph will be this. Your k value is minus 12 here. This is minus 12 and minus 4. That's these two points are where the curve crosses the x-axis, the k-axis. Now, they want you to find the equation, the, they want you to solve this inequality. That means this whole function is greater than zero. This is the function. The function greater than zero in here. These two segment, it will take all the positive values. If, if the curve goes below the x-axis, it will take only the negative values. So when they say positive zero, they are talking about these two parts of the curve, not the below one, these two parts of the curve. So the solution is the corresponding k values, the corresponding k values, all these values, all these values. So it will be k less than minus 12 or for this part, all these values, k greater than minus 4. So the solution is k less than minus 12 or k greater than minus 4. That's the solution. You're not supposed to use the word and here. Because if you use the word and, k less than minus 12 and k greater than minus 4, in math actually the little, the, these, these are all very important. When you use and, in set theory, if you learn uh, operations on sets, we use the word AND for intersection of two sets. But there is no common element for these two sets. So you are basically telling them that the, the solution is a null set. So that's not acceptable. You need to use the word OR. That means K can either be less than minus 12 you can take any values less than minus 12 and substitute here. This whole thing will be greater than 0. Or you can take any value greater than minus 4. For example, let's say you take 0. You substitute k is 0 here. 48 is greater than 0. So there are two possible sets actually. Or uh, if you want to put it in a set notation, write it as in a curly bracket. Write k such that you put semicolon k the condition is k less than minus 12 or or means union set the uh, set curly bracket k such that k greater than minus 4 this is how you write if you want to use the set notation if you put and here it is same as the intersection of two sets but there is no common element for these two sets so that's basically we are telling them that there is no solution at all. So you need to use union. That's why you need to, whenever you write the final solution, you write k minus 12 or we use the word only or k greater than minus 4. If you want to use the word and, 
might you might as well uh, put it on the number line and you can always find the common solution you can always combine them both you can always find the common solution we use or because there is no common solution so this is your solution k less than minus 12 or k greater than minus 4 if the function given is greater than or equal to 0 the inequality the same method everything same just put equal to equal to him because they want the solution where the function is 0 the function is 0 at this point so the points also included that's it he also you put less than or greater than or equal to 